Hello everybody, welcome back to another SFML tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain to you what textures are in SFML. First of all, why do we need textures? Well, textures are a really important part when it comes to games. Every single object that you can see probably has a texture in a game. So the trees have a leaf texture and a bark texture, for instance, while the ground has a ground texture and a crate has a crate texture, because otherwise it would just be squares or circles of a pure color. So the first thing that I did is I cleaned up the code a little bit. I saved the window under player creation, but I removed the set color and I replaced it with the player that set position to 206 and 206. And then in the event portion, I removed all of the different events except of the closed event because that one is really important. And then I also removed the mouse movement portion. So we're not going to be able to click somewhere in the screen and make the player move there. So let's now create a texture. Creating a texture is not that difficult. You simply type in SF texture and then give it a name. Let's call it player texture. Now we've already created a texture. The only thing that we're going to need to do now is load a texture from a file. So let's do that. But first, we need to set the texture to the correct position. We need to move it to the correct folder. So if you go here to the Solution Explorer and we right click on the project, so not the solution, so not the top part, but the one underneath that, then press open. Then in here, you will need to put your texture in this folder. So in the same folder as your main.cpp. Don't put it a folder up or somewhere else in your computer because this is the easiest way to access it right now. So let's now load the texture. My texture is called Tux from Linux. And basically what it is, is the penguin from Linux. So let's go back to the code and type in player texture, since that's a texture that we want to load a file into, load from file, and then in here specify the file path. And this already loaded the texture for us. This is all we had to do. So now we have to actually apply the texture to the player. And that's also really easy to do. Simply what we have to do is type in player dot set texture. And then in here, we need to give it a pointer to a texture. So we type in the end player texture, and that's it. Now we've loaded the texture. If we run the program right now, you will see that we have a penguin on the screen. But what you can see is that the transform is a bit off. The penguin isn't filling the entire cube. And we're going to fix that in the next episode. In the next episode, we're going to learn about texture coordinates. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.